Today is the performance of Seven at Fatma Jinnah University. I asked the girls to put into their own words what it means for them to be a part of this reading. And this is what they had to say. Uh, my character is about Marina Parker from Russia and uh, she's working on domestic violence and human trafficking. And uh, yes, people of Pakistan can really relate to it because uh, we can find a lot of domestic violence going on here. And uh, the women coming over here, and when they'll watch our play, they'll, they can actually really relate to it. Mm -hmm. I've heard stories about domestic violence on, around, the, around my relatives. I heard from them. And uh, I, don't, I never met her personally, but she was a victim of domestic violence. Her husband used to like beat him up. Yeah, she is compromising, and, and she is still staying with him. He imposed his will on her, and he does not allow him go outside his um, home and all. And um, he keeps him beating up, beating him, beating her up on and off. And she's still with him. She cannot do anything because women here are bound in their marriage. You know, they are not allowed when they uh, when they are married. Their parents say them that you cannot come again. If you're married, you have to stay there. That's your home now. And you have to compromise. And I'm doing the character of Mo Sukia, Sukwa. Well, she's uh, the woman who is against the trafficking of women and um, the small children that are forced into prostitution know that trafficking is very common in Pakistan. The girls are taken away from their families, um, they are uh, kidnapped, and then they are forced into prostitution. And um, it's young children, they are also kidnapped and then they are forced to become a beggars and uh, they are forced to, they are sent to brothel and then they are just, their future is dark. And, but women are trying, stri striving hard to uh, gain their dignity back and um, they are just striving. Women are the uh, sufferers, are real sufferers as compared to men. Men just impose and women they are, they are helpless. Yes, I am free. I am free to do. Uh, I have no restrictions from anybody. And thank God, I am in that family that uh, that doesn't allow that. There, there is a difference between men and women. There is no difference. Um, Everybody is uh, considered the same in my family. People do tend to feel that in Pakistan they do uh, feel that women have always missed out on a childhood. I do remember that my mother you did not used to let me just go out in the street and play. Although we are a very well-off family and we do have space in our home and we used to play inside, but I always wanted to go outside and I always wanted to go and play cricket with the guys and my mom was like, no, you cannot go outside like that. And yeah, that, I kind of miss my childhood. Annabella misses her childhood. So yeah, there's a lot of pressure from the male dominant society and not even just the male dominant society. Women who have grown up in their entire lives uh, living in the society, living in the setup that uh, in which you're going to be de uh, dehumanized or demeaned, they actually inculcate those beliefs in their children, in their female children. I am playing the character of Mukhtar Amai from Pakistan. I believe that um, in, in a society uh, like Pakistan, where women are uh, you know, discriminated on the basis of gender, uh, and they are not allowed uh, to get as educated as their uh, count male counterparts, just on the basis that if they get if they gonna get education uh, educated, they gonna you know uh, be aware of their rights and they gonna you know kind of get rebellious and they won't the the male members won't be able to you know uh, force them to do what they want them to do. Part I'm playing design as Macar Mac. She is uh, somebody who is not who's who's maybe not a direct victim of uh, injustice, but she feels very strongly about others because there's a lot of racial and religious discrimination happening in Pakistan and this is actually need of the hour to um, you know put something like this forward which gives a message that you might not be among the people who are discriminated but you can still voice their concerns and voice about them. it's happening to human beings you don't have to identify with the sect or community or to be you know to feel the pain of it it's just like it's discrimination it's it should not happen so that's that's plain you know reason my character is basically Farida Azizi she's from Afghanistan the way she had to help women and she had to go to remote areas where in front of Taliban and she was attacked so many times and she was threatened. In Pakistan this does happen because 
women don't know what they're dealing with. Children, they're, they're 12 year, year old, 16 year olds. How do they know how they're supposed to carry a child for nine months and then deliver it? It's their age to play with dolls and everything. And look what they have to go through. It happens all over. We don't see it, but once you dig deep into it, you will find hundreds and hundreds of families facing this. Hundreds, hundreds of girls. Facing. Take an example of a house. A, a father abuses her, his daughter. A brother abuses his sister. But they don't say anything. They have to go through it. They go through it all their lives. I know, I know girls who go through this. Go through sexual abuse? Yes. But they don't open up. I know girls and I have researched and I have looked upon these girls. And, you know, but now when they open up, you know, they're just, they're just ordered to be quiet and you don't see them again. You don't see them again. I hope nobody watches this and thinks that I'm trying to depict Pakistan in a very negative light or anything related to that because I'm not. The idea is that bad things are happening all over the world, right? So some of the issues that this play tackles, which are not in Pakistan, these characters are from other countries, um, issues around child prostitution, human trafficking, racial profiling, all of these things are also happening in America. I mean, I remember, you know, this, this issue of like uh, young girls getting married at the age of 12, right? I remember when I was growing up in Mississippi, I was in junior high school, so I was maybe 13 years old. I remember hearing about a 10-year-old girl in the fifth grade who got pregnant because she was raped, right? Um, so, you know, that happens in America. It happens every day. And the idea is that maybe through art, we're creating a space for people to come together and talk about these issues. And if we actually talk about these issues, then we can do something to resolve them together. I know there's a lot of work being done in Pakistan already, but if you have any other ideas and if you want to connect with other like-minded people, feel free to leave a comment on this video blog and maybe we can connect some of these people who want to work on these issues to make things better for everyone. I want to thank Aisha and Tulane who worked tirelessly with these girls for a, about a week before I even got to Islamabad. And I have to tell you, when I first got there, and I was told I would have to direct this reading, and I actually co-directed it with Tulane, who did an amazing job, um, I was panicking because these girls just knew nothing. I mean, about acting, right? And they were saying that, oh, I've been involved in theater and I've done some theater. But when we actually got on our feet and we started reading, I was like, there's no way these girls are going to be able to put together this reading by tomorrow afternoon. But they did. And I have to say, I was really worried at first because, you know, I would ask them like basic, basic questions. I would say things like, have you ever wanted something in your life that you did not get? And the response was, no. Have you ever faced adversity in your life? No. Have you ever? No. But by the end of the day and a half of rehearsals, these girls really opened up and did an amazing job. This has definitely been one of the highlights of the trip for me so far. Thank you. And keep up the great work.